So this is a report out on the systems biology um, breakout group. Give me one moment just to get to part of my notes. Um, the thing that I want to start off with in systems biology was really sort of appreciating that there's a lot of definitions about what systems biology is. And I think a general agreed upon set of components is you need to generate data, integrate data across scales, make models, simulate outcomes, predict phenotypes, use those to develop hypotheses, which hopefully then can be tested um, by a variety of means. So when it comes uh, to our discussion, again, lots of notes. Please take a look at, at what's online. Um, some of the highlights that I want to walk through is first and foremost some of the questions, biological questions that came up that could be answered by systems biology. And the first one was really like trying to understand how the structure of gene and regulatory networks change or remain stable between species and over evolutionary time. You know, do different organisms and their gene networks respond similarly or differently um, uh, in terms of perturbations to those uh, to external stimuli? And then uh, ultimately, you know, how can we modify these networks in order to have new um, or possibly different kind of outcomes in the world of synthetic biology? Um, the group identified lots and lots and lots of outstanding needs. I'm just going to summarize a couple of the high-level ones, um, which resonate, of course, across the different groups. One of them, of course, is more reference data sets. This includes high-quality genomes, encode or modern code-like data sets, and cell atlases um, across multiple species. There was an appreciation that data integration and interoperability across scales and across organisms and communities is still difficult, and we have a lot of improvement that we can make there. Um, there's opportunities, of course, in the field of machine learning and the big data sets that we are required to train them, both in terms of how ML can be used for data integration as well as for uh, making predictions, and that we do need good reference data for both developing new models, training them, and then, of course, testing them. Um, another thing that we need, of course, are better ways to uh, manipulate organisms at the gene level and specifically branching out to additional non-standard model organisms. It would be great to be able to CRISPR everything today um, as well as having better DNA synthesis and transformation technologies, but we do need to think carefully about the species we want to manipulate very much in the same way as which ones we want reference genomes for um, and how do we sample that and how do we do that together as a community. Um, in terms of, of a couple of the two most important things, or a couple of the most important things that we might think about investing in, it really comes down to that, for instance, biology, the identification and characterization of gene networks across life, and really to be able to identify these conserved broad patterns of network architecture and how that changes as we take a look at specific clades of organisms or even down to an individual organism. That will give us a lot of insight into how these organisms are evolving and responding to changing environments. Um, like other groups, we appreciate that a lot of these answers don't reside within the biological community and we need to continue to foster interdisciplinary collaborations with other groups in engineering, computer science, mathematics, as well as uh, additional opportunities to do co-training. So we're developing new scientists at the intersections of those fields. Um, there's a lot of work that we have to do in terms of linking together uh, genotypes and phenotypes, especially across um, species or traditional groups that work together, and there's opportunities there to have better data systems and databases to um, allow that to happen. And of course, linking the systems biology to a lot of the work that's happening now in synthetic biology. And I'll stop. <laughs>